hey, we're back and not happy. How's that? I'm not happy because the information on this car is very, very poor. One of the things that I don't know that I made clear yesterday is as I'm scrolling screens and trying to find connectors, there are 500 figures. I'm not, I'm not exaggerating. There is 500 plus figures that you scroll through to find the connector location and what it is, and there is no table of contents. I'm about to revisit that because I have to, and I'm not happy about it. The pain is about to begin. So that's my main thing. Second thing, it's good to get away from a car. Yesterday, I was so frustrated because we lost a screen recording and about a half an hour of material. And that was enough combined with the fact that I had to go through 500 figures to find the connector I needed that I know myself that was time to stop. I wanna take this network and cut it in half and eliminate half of the network. And what we do know is when my brother um, disconnects this connector here, it isolates the DLC to just the instrument cluster, right? When I unplug this guy and you see we have instrument cluster activity here. Pretty normal looking waveform for can high, pretty normal looking waveform for can low, right? One and a half to two and a half typical range Two and a half to three and a half typical range. That looks pretty good. So we know right away the instrument cluster is not our issue, for sure. We know that. But what I want to do is essentially that, but I, I found a connector, at least on the diagram, that will separate halves of the system. And then I can at least figure out where I'm at, eliminate stuff under the hood uh, or inside the car, and then uh, that'll save us time as far as locating this, what I believe, copper to copper short within a connector, we're gonna find water or something in a connector and we're getting a trace voltage across pins. I believe that's what we're seeing. And there is no easy way to locate that. As with any other circuit that you're dealing with a copper to copper short on, um, there's really no easy way to isolate it. Um, there's variable, varying ways we can attack it but there isn't any silver bullet that's like, oh, let's do this test and there it is, okay?